Hello guys, S2W here as your average consumer with your next casual consumer's perspective review. For this pickup, it's definitely one of the most interesting sneakers being released in February of 2018. Not only because it's new, but it's also Nike's next generation of silhouette belonging to the Air Max family. Part of the Air Max Day 2018 celebrations, today I have the Nike Air Max 270 in the hot punch colorway here for a review. Last year in 2017, Nike has introduced the Vapor Max into the Air Max lineup and it was a hit. Sporting a whole new different look and modern appeal, it brought a lot of attention to what Nike is about to do for their next Air Max silhouette releasing this year, which turns out to be these 270s. Inspired by the designs of the Air Max 180 and the Air Max 93, both with the focus of airbags found only at the heel area of the shoe, with this feature in mind, you bet Nike has focused on the booty of the shoes for this new model in the collection. What's new on these Air Max 270s? Let's take a closer look at these sneakers. For this OG colorway, it seems like Nike has approached the design with a safe basic black colorway throughout its upper to highlight the most important feature of the shoe with a bright pinkish red airbag on the heel. The upper is made out of a newly engineered zoned mesh material that provides high flexibility and breathability. By touch, it just feels like your regular mesh textile that doesn't stretch. It's really more notable for its ability to flex with your foot comfortably, unlike tougher materials such as nubuck or leather. The surface is also layered with multiple slits too, providing numerous airflow entries for our feet to stay cool. And of course, we can't miss the several small Nike swishes at the side panels of the shoe to show off its branding. At the toe box area and lower portion of the side panels, we will see a tape overlay that acts as the mudguard of the shoes, providing additional structure and durability where it needs the most. Although it's not seamless, the upper is a one-piece textile as the tongue is sewed together to the surface rather than being detachable, transforming the sneaker into a slip-on design. At the tip of this tongue, we'll see the Nike Swoosh branding and the logo Air 270, threaded with a flat but roundish black laces with an asymmetrical setup to keep the shoes securely tight. At the back portion, we'll see an interesting outer booty shield on top of the mesh layer, branded with the word Air at the back, and also strung along with the Nike Air branded pull tab at the top for use. The only reason I say it's an outer shield is because the materials are separable and leaves a gap in between if you open it. I guess there's extra pockets for us to put some change in? But jokes aside, we'll see that these do come with quote unquote removable insoles. There's a layer of glue under the insole so in essence, I don't think they're made for being removed but if somehow you don't like them, it is an option to rip them out. As for the inner lining, the Achilles area is padded really well. If we take a look at the interior side of the mesh upper, we'll clearly see through the opening slits of the mesh material. Further proving breathability on this model is not a problem at all. Now the main feature has got to be the midsole of these sneakers. Designed with two compartments, the main sole is decorated in black, able to provide a full heel to forefoot smooth transition with its dual density foam properties, which is basically a piece of foam created by laminating a high density foam that will disperse the blows on the ground, while a second softer density foam inside will absorb the impact instead. So it's designed for certain parts of the sneaker to feel softer than the rest. The other highlight is the heel cushioning, where the large airbag heel unit could be seen. It's hard to miss on this model as it's designed with a bright hot pinkish red color, bloated up like a puffy air balloon. This airbag is advertised as the biggest heel airbag unit ever created on an Air Max model, and is newly engineered for greater impact absorption that would deliver plush cushioning for daily comfort and wear. Last year's Vapor Max has a plush heel unit already and feels springy on feet so it's safe to assume having a larger volume air bubble will definitely deliver a higher maximum air cushion bounce and comfort on feet. Flipping the shoes over, we'll see their respective cushioning under our feet, with a solid rubber outsole in the forefoot and clear rubber on the heel, branded with the word Air Max right at the center of the sneakers. Anyways, here are some Nike Air Max 270 in the hot punch colorway fit footage. Fit wise, I had no problem going true to size. Although it does lean a little on the narrow side, I still had no problems wearing these at my true to size comfortably even with my wide feet. Not that it's bothersome, but it's a unique fitting shoe in my opinion, as it feels like my heel is being raised up a bit due to the tall airbag, like what I assume high heels would feel like. Comfort wise, because the upper is made out of mesh material, it won't be as adaptable as something like Flyknit. Rather, it feels more structurally solid and firm around our feet, but that shouldn't discourage the comfort by much as the upper will feel just as flexible and possibly more protected. The shoe overall though is very lightweight, and in my opinion, will probably only get lighter when flying iterations start to come out in the future. Cushioning wise, it honestly feels more stable and softer than the uneven and tougher sole from last year's Vapor Max in my opinion. 
The heel unit as predicted was a lot bouncier because of its taller size and thus increased its compressive capabilities. The foam at the forefoot, although still solid by nature, feels soft enough that your feet won't feel like it's hitting hard on pavements. Coupled with the foam insole inside, it's just padded enough for a plush impact on the floor. It's a pretty solid model that is best described as bouncy yet spongy like jumping on a trampoline. However, I did notice a problem that I had while walking in these. It might not pertain to everyone, but it did happen to me personally, so there's a chance it could happen to others as well. While I was walking, I can feel the heel area of the shoes hitting or dragging along the floor at times. Maybe it's just my walking pattern that I need improvements on, but for this model, it was strangely noticeable. Something that I haven't honestly felt with other sneakers before. I'm not sure if it's because of the height of the air unit that was causing my stride motion to hit the floor in a different way or not, but frequently, I do feel the airbag heel unit hitting the ground unless I have to deliberately raise my heel up higher than regular to prevent this from happening. Other than that, as I've mentioned earlier, it's a pretty decent and comfortable model. It might not be as mushy as some of the other cushioning available in the market, but it's comfortable enough that it feels great on feet, minus the noticeable heel drag that I personally experienced. Also being priced at 200 Canadian dollars before tax, it's definitely one of the better options in terms of having a bubbly yet plush cushioning of this level. Anyways, throw me some likes if you like this video and let me know in the comments what you think about this thick booty. I think Nike is about to put this new sole onto other models as well, such as the Air Force in the Safari colorway and I've seen early images of flying iterations online too. Hopefully those feel just as comfortable since they look pretty dope. That's it for today, S2W signing off.